Hi everyone, Tracy Batty from Amafra here again. I did a previous video on showing you how to enter your corn rootworm trap sites and data by using the desktop browser. Um, now I'm going to talk to you about how to do that on your mobile device. And of course you can find the adult trap net network um, by googling uh, corn rootworm IPM uh, through the Iowa State University site um, and just clicking on the link. Or I also have an article on field crop news by Amafra that um, also provides those links. And I direct you to this article specifically because I have provided both the desktop browser link, but also one to use directly on your mobile. Now, of course, you can use um, the desktop link on your mobile, and I want to show you what it looks like. So it's essentially the same site as you would find on your desktop. Um, but with the different tabs and of course being on mobile you have to navigate yourself through to the trap data entry site or page. Um, alternatively if you're on the uh, intro or any other page you can go to your menu and hit the trap data entry page and X out of the original screen. This, But I wanted to direct you to the second link um, because I'm finding it much more helpful when I'm on my mobile device. So it takes you directly to the trap data entry page so that you don't have to scroll through and find which tab you need um, to, to enter the data in weekly. Um, and of course, in either case, bookmark these links um, to your device so that it's much easier to find um, when you want to navigate. Of course, the benefit of having uh, the ability to enter your data either from your mobile device while you're in the field or at your computer is that it's interchangeable. So if you, for example, want to set up these sites back at home before um, you actually have to go and check the traps each week, then you can uh, access the site um, while you are at, on your desktop browser. Um, but of course, the same links show up um, on, for your um, mobile device as well. So just remember, we only need the information um, entered once for field information. That includes hybrids and um, BT traits, for example. And then you will, for these sites, go to, and use the weekly trap count link um, going forward. So every week you return and enter that data. Of course, the real advantage of taking your mobile device and entering the sites while you're in the field is you can hit the bullseye button and it'll take you directly to the field as long as your mobile device has GPS and data to do so. That wasn't the case earlier this week in Canada. Um, but then you can just enter directly, especially your weekly counts, into the system while you're in the field so you don't forget. Of course, if you do make mistakes, you can email Dan Bahari, uh, Senior GIS Specialist at OMAFRA. He will be happy to make the corrections behind the scenes for you, uh, as long as you tell him what your trap site name is, uh, the date of the air, and any corrections that are needed, whether it's, for example, you entered the wrong hybrid or didn't even know it when you first entered your field information. But we also have uh, cases where um, the weekly trap count information wasn't correct. So uh, Dan is happy to make those corrections in the background for you. And just a reminder, we do want people to go and check these traps weekly on a seven day interval and change them. As well, document how many Western corn rootworm, the yellow and black beetles, and Northern corn rootworm on both sides of the traps for each trap each week.